Greetings from Washington, D.C. This is Peter Thomas, General Counsel of the NAOP. Wanted to give a bit of a wrap-up of the 2014 elections and the impact that that might have on both health policy and orthotic and prosthetic legislative and regulatory issues. Um, as the Congress moves to the end of the 113th Congress and into the 114th Congress, there will be some significant legislation that has to be passed. Uh, but before we get to that, I wanted to speak a little bit about the election results. As everyone knows, the Republicans took over the Senate and will have the majority in the new Congress. And so uh, with a Democratic president and a Republican House and Senate, uh, that kind of divided government um, has traditionally led to one of two scenarios, either compromise, where both parties come together and agree on certain uh, key issues and try to move them forward, or uh, partisanship and gridlock. And um, I guess the fear is that, uh, you know, the, the, with the upcoming national election in two years, that this is, it's much more likely that the 114th Congress will be struck by gridlock than, um, than genuine agreements uh, across the aisle. Nonetheless, uh, <clears throat> there are some specific issues that are on the table, uh, both at the end of this Congress in December and uh, early in next year uh, when the 114th Congress begins. Right now they're trying to wrap up the uh, uh, omnibus appropriation spending bill to figure out how to fund the federal government through the remainder of the fiscal year, which ends on sep September 30th. Uh, there's an effort to try to extend funding levels through the end of the fiscal year and remove that from the new Congress's plate. Uh, if they're not able to do that, there is a uh, hope that they'll be able to at least get the majority of those bills through uh, and perhaps hold back on the immigration bill, <coughs> uh, strengthening the hand of Republicans in the 114th Congress to revisit that issue. <coughs> and if they fail to achieve a longer-term spending bill, what the Congress will most likely do and what they've done in the past is pass a continuing resolution which extends federal funding uh, through some period of time, a, a number of months until they revisit the issue. If all of those break down, uh, the federal government will shut down. No one's seriously uh, talking about that, although there has been talk more recently, ever since the President announced his immigration plans, um, of such a shutdown. More to come on those issues, and it's fairly unlikely at this point that, um, that both parties will not be able to find a path, pathway forward uh, and it's unlikely that the government will shut down, uh, but not completely uh, uh, ruled out. There are a couple of Medicare bills that need to be addressed soon, but not necessarily by the end of this year. The first one is the SGR, or the, the Physician Fee Schedule Fix, so that physicians don't encounter a 25% cut in the fee schedule um, when the current fix expires on March 30th. And so, ultimately, Congress needs to address that, but they don't need to address it before they return uh, for the holiday to their home districts and the 113th Congress ends. And therefore, uh, it's very unlikely that th that that bill will be debated and um, enacted prior to the holidays. There is a, a bill called the ABLE Act, which creates uh, a new savings mechanism for people with disabilities, which has very broad bipartisan support. Unfortunately, there are some offsets to that bill to help pay for the cost of that, it's a $2 billion bill, that impact the Medicare program. And uh, luckily it does not um, uh, impact orthotics or prosthetics, and uh, there are no offsets in the bill related to O&P care, and so we're grateful for that. But ultimately, uh, we don't expect um, to be held harmless as the Medicare uh, debate and the Medicare fights to come offsetting the cost of the, of the physician fee schedule, which could be as high as $150 billion over 10 years, uh, will, will be waged early next year. Finally, let me say that uh, CMS continues to crank out regulations and solicit comments on a variety of rules. Um, in particular, there's a new proposed rule on the Affordable Care Act uh, with respect to essential health benefits and NAOP and the broader OMP Alliance will certainly be submitting comments to that rule. 
Uh, in addition, the Office of Medicare Hearings and Appeals is soliciting comments on ways to try to rid themselves of the backlog of appeals. Uh, with that said, uh, have a wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you in 2015.